Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Well, we love to end uh, those segments with a Gene Smith pun. Uh, we're the only radio show that has their own uh, poet laureate in Charlie Covington. We're the only outdoor radio show that has their own pun master and Gene Smith, and we're also the only radio show that has a pun master judge, and that's Dave Gabbert. <laughs> I mean, he uh, he holds up a sign, three, four, or five. That was about an eight, Gene. Thank you for doing that. Oh, but, thank you very uh, much. We throw, we throw out the high and the low and take the average. That's right. Well, it, <laughs> it was a good one. Well, picking a good one right now, we're always happy to have John Butler, the president of the Agri Center, on with us. And a lot of folks have asked me uh, to get John on or somebody uh, from the world's famous, most named, best named lake in the world, Ketchum Lake, uh, that thousands, and my John probably knows how many cars pass Ketchum Lake every day on Walnut Grove, and I have never seen during this time period in, uh, in our COVID world so many people hunkered around Ketchum Lake. Uh, First of all, good morning, John. Thank you for being with us. And uh, well, good morning. Thanks for having me. Always good to have you. And when I uh, when I emailed John earlier in the week to see if he could do this, he was more than happy to come on the radio, just like they've always been under these trying times. John, uh, talk a little bit about what's going on at the Agri Center. You've had to lose some events and things along that line, but at the same time. It looks to me like uh, more participation that you're getting, but maybe people that will never come to Shelby Farms are, are coming now. Yeah, so, uh, you know, first and foremost, really appreciate you having me on. And, yes, we've been impacted just like every other organization has with this pandemic. Uh, obviously, a lot of what we do is we host people. We host large uh, large events, and, and all that's been closed down Uh at one time, um, basically all of our buildings were closed to the public, but we've, we've started to ease back open. So working with, obviously, our, our, our local um, uh, health officials and, yes. and, and obviously the Shelby County mayor and other other folks within the, the, the city of Memphis, we've been able to open our farmer's market. So it's open seven days a week now. Um, really happy to have that. So we've got the ability to provide uh, consumers with fresh produce and, and protein from uh, our local farmers and ranchers. Great. And yeah. then last weekend, we were able to open our equine campus. So yes. Yeah. We, we hosted a, a really great event, uh, a, a barrel racing show. and We've got a, a, a quarter horse show coming in this weekend. So we're getting things open. Of course, what you care about is Ketchum Lake, and it is a great <laughs> name, and it yes. has been absolutely slammed. Well, talk about uh, it. Talk week. about it. How, how? So we opened up. We opened up the season March seventh, yes. and and um, shortly after that, we you know entered into uh, I, I guess you would say you know the the world post COVID nineteen. Yes. So, yeah. Um, when we saw people kind of being uh, uh, you know uh, safer at home and all these orders go in, what they did is they 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 started to enjoy the outdoors more, and so. Ketchum Lake has probably had its busiest year in history. Uh, we're up somewhere between 50 and 75 percent. Wow. Um, the yeah. tenant that operates that 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 part of the campus for us is, is Walnut Grove Bait and Tackle. Yes. Eric Bean and his team do an amazing job. You can go to agricenter.org at our website and click on things to do, and you can find the the, the, the hours of operation, the cost of fish there. It's a you catch it's you catch lake lake. So we uh, yes. uh-huh. we do we do charge a small fee for people to fish there. Um, but we we've, we've been stocking it every week, somewhere between uh, two and four thousand pounds a week. A week we've been having a week. We've been having to put back in the lake just to keep up with the demand. So it's um, amazing. It's really yeah. nice to see see folks outside and enjoying uh, you know fishing some for maybe the first time in several, several yeah, years. I, yeah. I can tell you that the bait industry, the tackle industry, yeah. and even some of my friends that own the catfish farms over in Arkansas, we've got supply issues in the in the bait and tackle industry. We have supply issues on catfish farms, which is, a you know, you hear about all the dis- dis- disturbance and, and, and everything around the ag industry, shortages, things like that. Uh, one of the things that, you know, obviously – you have to be kind of proud of is that folks are really turning outdoors and doing some great stuff and really enjoying fishing, which we all know is an amazing, amazing sport. But at the same time, I'm, I'm wondering 
how you're getting your catfish and how you're getting your worms and your cricket places because all of these are getting slammed. I mean, yep, uh, yep. Uh, every, we're every, seeing the same thing. You're seeing the same thing there. We uh, are. Uh, and yet the people are showing up uh, when you open the door. I think they're in line. I don't know when. Maybe when you start out there, uh, they are. Uh, the folks are are doing it, and you're you're saying fifty to seventy percent. Did you say that? Is that right? Up from last year? Oh, absolutely. In, in some weeks, we probably have been doubled. Uh, if you're doubled. Vis- uh, <laughs> listeners want to want to visit, I mentioned the website. They yeah. can also they can also call. Yeah. So it's 901-737-1200, and that gets you straight to Walnut Grove Bait and Tackle, which manages the lake for us here on, at Agri Center. And so it's uh, been doing there. Been, it's been in, in business for a pretty long time. Uh, location, location, location. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, so uh, we, we, we're told a hundred thousand cars pass our campus on both Germantown and Walnut Grove Road, and uh, everybody. I mean, and, and, and the other thing you we, you can see we if folks are kind of driving through the campus, you're going to see a lot of changes. So over the last three years, we've been managing about $14 million worth of infrastructure improvements to yes. both Show Place Arena and, and to the Agri Center campus. So we're really excited about the increased activities. Obviously, COVID has given us some, some tremendous, um, you know, hurdles to climb. But, you know, we're, we're looking to the, the day where we get on the other side of that and, and, and hopefully continue to be uh, – a great contributor to, to the economic success of Memphis and Shelby County. Well, I think uh, I have it, a question. All right, do it. When did the Christian Cowboys come back? You bet. So um, we are we're only open for equine events. So all of our rodeos okay. are all our rodeos are closed down, and then obviously our concerts and things that like that are closed too. So well, you sure had a, you had a lot of horse trailers last weekend. And I know you'll have them this week. I, I'm amazed at some of those rigs. Uh, you know, I, uh, I have a, every once in a while, I have a crystal craving. And I just sit there and I was watching all those horses and their rigs last weekend. And I was thinking, uh, man, that's some pretty big stuff going over. Again, we're talking to John Butler, the president of Agri Center International. Uh, the way they have handled uh, this unusual three month period. And I know, John, not only that, but you brought a lot of people to, to uh, walking around the, the, the lake itself. You've got sailboats out there. If you want to social distance, uh, Shelby Farms, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the largest inner city uh, facility in, in, the, in the U.S. Is that right? Uh, I mean, as far as acreage-wise? is uh, uh, I, I, I believe so. When you look at all the Shelby Farms area. Yeah, the Shelby Farms, all the a, areas like it. Yeah. that's roughly about, you know, I know Central Park's only about 700 acres. Oh, no, no, no we got it. This is a, We're claiming this, Central John. Park. We're going to oh, claim yeah. it whether you want it or not. We're going to say it. Oh, so, I just uh, own it. Yeah, yeah, and you ought to be able to man that knows it and everything. Again, John, thank you for being with us on Outdoors with Larry Ray this morning. Folks, uh, give them that website where they can get all that information. You bet. It's just agricenter.org, www.agricenter.org. And thanks so much for having us. We look forward to it every time. It's just a just a great show to be on. And certainly well, we enjoy ap- being on this morning and talking about the 4th of July. Well, we appreciate it. I know you'll have a big crowd out there this weekend. So let's uh, hope your garden does good and my wife's garden does good. We'll all be happy. Okay, John? <laughs> I guarantee it. Thank you all very All right, much. buddy. Pleasure. Have a great one. Thank you. You too. Right. Bye-bye. All right. John Butler. Okay, guys, y'all heard that. Uh, uh, written by Walnut Grove, Dave. You know, when we were having the fishing rodeo and uh, we moved it around to so many different places, I think we were at all, every one of those lake. We were at that lake and had to rope it off one year, uh, net it off. You remember? Right. The, you remember that, guys? When we had Patriot the, Lake, yeah, yeah Patriot was, Lake. Patriot, you remember that, Dave? <laughs> and and said, "Golly, you've got fish down in here and everything like that." But uh, folks, you do have to realize, as John mentioned. When you fish at uh, Ketchum Lake, what do you have to do, Dave? You have to pay, okay? <laughs> this, yeah, it's, it's, it's what we commonly refer to, you know, by, like a payout lake. It is know? that. So you're going to pay so, for what you catch. Uh, there's a rate there, but they will clean them for you. Uh, I know that uh, uh, That I know a friend that got if carried. I'm, if, I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the payout lakes like that, what we call it, 
you know, you do not need a fishing license. Yeah, you don't you don't need a fishing license, but uh, I think the Gene has uh, mentioned to me uh, off the air that uh, there used to be a lake out there off James Road, right, Gene? Wasn't there a pay lake right, out there? Right, yeah. Yeah, and, and there's some other things, but uh, anyway, uh, great a way to uh, take advantage of uh, of the opportunity, and, you know, Dave, uh, I, I didn't realize Dave was playing with pain till he told me off the air that he had a little accident. So are you okay? I mean, you're it, it has the. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's hurt your golf game. Is that what you're trying to tell well, me? Well, it's it's changed my swing just a little bit. I got kind of bit by uh, a table saw the other day. About a week oh, ago. Boy. Oh. oh boy! Oh boy! Tip of my thumb, and uh, that's enough. That's no. enough. We need a pun now. After that, we oh can, man, we we need a pun. All right, give me a pun, man. Pun man. Okay, this lady was at, at one of the local grocery stores, and right. she's looking to the turkeys for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And, uh, of course, they were all in a freezer there, and she asked the young man, said, do they not get any bigger than that? He said, no, ma'am, those are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Go out back and get the live ones, okay? All right, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> speaking of turkeys, I seen my first turkey post the other day. All right. Oh, not only do we have a pun, we have a poult. Yeah. <laughs> a pee pee here. There we go. Way to go. That's a good, good way to end the same. Let's take a break. Oh, my. A poult and a. Uh, yeah, all right. Be right back, and we're going to talk to the man himself, the gray beard adventurer. Uh, this man is 85 years old, guys. I know. I still got to get him his walking stick. You need his walking stick. Yeah. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> 